friends, it's Brittany and welcome back to my channel. Hello. It's been a minute. It has been over a month since I filmed. No, actually it's almost been two months, which is so crazy. But today I wanted to pop on here, say hi, say I missed you, kind of catch you guys up to speed on life and why it's been so long since I filmed. So if you're new to my channel and for some weird reason you're stumbling upon this little life catch up update video, my name's Brittany and on my channel I primarily do grocery hauls, I do mom day in the life content, some cooking content. So if those are areas you're interested in, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a like. It helps me out so much. But as I was saying, it has been since like mid-January, I think, maybe even early. No, I think it was like mid-January since I filmed. And the video that I filmed is not even live yet. I think it's gonna go up next. But I filmed like a day in the life catch up video, which ironically in the video, I was talking about how we had all been super sick and we were finally starting to feel better and we ended up not feeling better. So basically, long story short, we were sick for literally, I'm not even kidding, a month and a half. So originally I had posted in my community tab on YouTube that I was going to be taking some time off from YouTube because my son's first birthday was February 1st and we were going to be doing all the birthday festivities like our small get together with my family and then we had like a much larger party for him on February 11th so I was taking time off to prep for that and just to like soak it all in that my baby was turning one so just quality family time but in the midst of all of that like I'm glad I did take off of YouTube because if I was trying to like do that and be sick at the same time it would have been insanity like I literally felt like I could barely keep my head above water so what happened was in early January Isaac I thought he was cutting a tooth because he was running a fever for like a day and we were just kind of getting giving him like Motrin Tylenol that kind of thing he had like a little bit of a runny nose but that wasn't abnormal for him because usually when he cuts a tooth he gets a runny nose but basically looking back at it I'm like no he was definitely sick because then I got sick and then Derek got sick and I ended up being sick for about a week and a half and then it wasn't getting better just kind of like cold symptoms you know what I mean and then I went to the doctor and they gave me antibiotics because they were like okay at this point you've been like sick for a while and it's not going away and I was kind of having some like sinus infection symptoms so they gave me antibiotics for that and then as soon as I started taking the antibiotics I started feeling better which was great and then I think it was around the time that I filmed the video that you guys will see in the next week or so that I was like yeah I'm feeling like 98% better da, 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 da. well Derek in the midst of that he was sick and then he went to the doctor and got antibiotics but I think what happened was because shortly after I finished my antibiotics I started getting like a sore throat again and I just was like what is wrong like why am I still sick so the doctor I went back to the doctor they tested me literally for everything COVID flu strep throat RSV like all the things and I was negative for everything so they told me to go see an ENT because they were like we don't know why your throat's hurting so bad and it wasn't one of those like sore throats where you know you wake up in the morning and it's sore or whatever and then it goes away no it was like sore the entire day like painful to swallow sore so I went to an ENT and they tried to tell me that I might have acid reflux and I just I was like I've never had like heartburn issues acid reflux issues and they said yeah like actually heartburn's not even like a symptom with acid reflux and I'm like okay so they gave me this medicine and I literally took it for two days because essentially when you have acid reflux like that all can kind of like go into your esophagus and throat area and irritate it. So I took the medicine for two days, but then at that point I started having more cold symptoms set in like illness symptoms and I started to get very congested. 
So I was like, no, 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 no. This is not acid reflux. I'm just sick with something else. So at the time, I wasn't sure if it was this what I was sick with the first time that never cleared up but I think what happened was Derek got sick and he I think he might have gotten something else that I got so I got re-sick okay so let me tell you this craziness so it's a Tuesday it's actually the Tuesday after Isaac's first birthday party like the big birthday party and Isaac's in his pack and play and he had just had like milk in the morning and I think I was like maybe cleaning his high chair or something at the sink so he's in the pack and play like right next to me and all of a sudden I just hear like gagging and then I see like projectile throw up shoots through the mesh of the pack and play all over the floor and I'm just like, oh my gosh, baby, it's okay. And he's not even like crying, which I'm like, thank goodness, because that was his first time throwing up. And it's so sad to see baby throw up because they're like confused. They don't understand what's happening. So at that point, I was concerned because the week prior, you guys, this is like, we have been so sick. It's just been one thing after another. The week prior, he had an eye infection and like a skin infection from his eczema that flared up. So when we were at the doctor the week prior, they said, oh, we're gonna check his ears because sometimes when they get an eye infection, it's signaling that like, there could be an ear infection or some other type of virus that's setting in. And so when he started throwing up, I was like, Gee, I'm like, I hope he doesn't have an ear infection. So I said, I'm just gonna take him to the urgent care, like the pediatric urgent care, just to get his ears checked out. Cause I was like, it's probably a stomach virus, but in the off chance it's not, I just wanna make sure everything is clear and stuff. Um, because sometimes with an ear infection, you can get nauseous and throw up and stuff. So <laughs> the craziness. And the, in the midst of this, keep in mind, I am so sick. Like. I am so congested, like my asthma is terrible, like I can't breathe, and I'm just like, we're gonna do this, we're going to the urgent care. Like I don't even think I ate that morning, I was purely just running off of mom adrenaline, like gotta do this. So we get to urgent care, no air infection, so it's stomach virus, and I'm like, great. I'm like, just what we need in our household after being weak, sick for six weeks is a stomach virus. So Isaac, I think he only threw up like four times that day, which in the grand scheme of things is like not that bad, but it was so sad guys. Like, you know, he's not really like eating or drinking well and it's like hard cause you gotta keep them hydrated. And so that same day I had my a follow up doctor's appointment. Like I made another doctor's appointment because I was still so sick and I was at three. So I basically went to urgent care. I went through a drive through to get Derek and I lunch ate really quick like threw in some of Isaac's like nasty like laundry from throwing up and stuff and then took myself to the doctor and she's like you're a mess this is either bronchitis bronchitis or pneumonia she's like based on your symptoms so she's like I'm giving you like a top tier antibiotic and I'm like good and I said in the off chance that I get this stomach bug I'm assuming I have to stop taking this antibiotic until I can like actually keep it down. And she says, yep, if you get the stomach bug, stop taking it. And then like when you're feeling better, start taking it again. Okay. So the antibiotic I was on, um, what was it called? Like Levac Levaquin or something like that. Very strong antibiotic. And it directed me to take it in the morning so i went to the doctor at like 3 p.m so i was like i'm just gonna wait and take this in the morning okay i get one day of antibiotics in and at this point it's been two days since isaac started throwing up and i'm kind of starting to think like okay i'm feeling pretty good i'm in the clear you know i'm being very diligent like wiping washing my hands all the time like not touching his like bottle or sippy cup and then eating you know i'm just i'm being very mindful also in the back of my head I'm like I've been thrown up on at this point so like I don't know like I'm probably good if I haven't gotten sick by now so that night after it was like right before bed I'm like starting to feel really nauseous and it's not just like 
wheezy nauseous. It's that like nauseous feeling where you know you're doomed and it's like you're probably gonna throw up and I'm just like laying in bed like literally can't fall asleep because I'm feeling so sick and then finally it was like 1 30 in the morning and I started throwing up and guys I am not joking this is the sickest I've ever been and keep in mind I've had COVID I've literally been hospitalized for mono this is the sickest I've ever been I threw up every hour for from like 1 30 to 7 30 in the morning and it was awful like got no sleep and then of course the next day it's like okay I'm still a mom and like ironically Derek my husband was scheduled to go into the office that day and luckily I was able to like I was like is there any way that you can stay home like it was the middle of the night because I was like, if I'm throwing up tomorrow, there's no way I can adequately take care of Isaac. And he like moved his schedule around so he could work from home. So he like woke up and did Isaac's morning routine. And then I showered and like got ready for the day and just basically camped out in the living room with Isaac so Derek could work. And I got very lucky because Isaac was still kind of like recovering from the stomach bug. So he pretty much just wanted to like chill and watch TV and like cuddle with me and I was so exhausted that day that I mean I got lucky that he would just take contact naps and I could lay on the couch and stuff but basically I was the sickest I've ever been in my life and then um it dragged on for like five days like I only threw up like the first day but the stomach issues continued and then it was like after two days I was starting to feel better like I was finally like hungry again and I could keep down a little bit of food so I was like okay well I'm gonna start taking my antibiotics in because I was still having like I started to feel better immediately after I took the first dose of antibiotics and then like after I had the stomach bug like the congestion and stuff was coming back so obviously it like started to clear things up but then because I wasn't taking it so then I took um my next two doses like the next two days but literally it was the night after I took it that I woke up in the middle of the night having stomach issues again for like a couple hours so I think I had mentioned like a day or two prior to my doctor I was like hey um because I think it was like a Friday that I called my doctor I think it might have been like after I started throwing up and I just was like hey can you run this by my doctor to make sure that this isn't a side effect from the antibiotics and then they finally got back to me like Monday or Tuesday because it was like President's Day weekend so I think they were like closed and they were like yeah we want you to stop taking it because when I told them how I was like feeling better and then I started taking it again and then the stomach issues came back they were saying they were worried that the antibiotic was like prolonging or like basically like I was I obviously had the stomach virus like it wasn't the antibiotics that were causing it but because you know my stomach basically because of all the stomach issues I was having they were worried that because I had the virus and then I took the antibiotics and my whole stomach system was still very in a fragile state they were worried that the antibiotics were basically like causing more stomach issues on top of that so they told me to stop it and they said if you're like congestion and stuff doesn't clear up to call us back and we'll give you something else so once I stopped taking the antibiotics, I started feeling better again and I could finally eat again. But those days were rough and I was like, I I don't know if I'll ever be able to eat normally again. You know, like I've never had like a bug that's lasted that long. It's usually like a day or two and then you're kind of like back up and running. But y'all, that was rough. And by some miracle, my husband never got it. And I have friends and they're like, did you and Isaac eat something that Derek did it? No, guys. Like, literally, we ate... Derek was actually away for a day or two before his birthday party. And me and Isaac, the only thing we ate was... I picked up breakfast from Cracker Barrel curbside. And we had, like, pancakes, bacon, eggs. I didn't eat the eggs. 
like Cracker Barrels, like, you know, their stuff is fresh. Like I wouldn't be worried about it. Like we didn't eat anything weird. And usually with food poisoning, you would have it like pretty quickly after you eat it. And we didn't sit down at a table. So I know he didn't like pick up the virus there cause we got it curbside. We were literally at home, like leading up to his birthday party, didn't go anywhere. We were just eating like leftovers and they weren't old leftovers. Like we were eating at home, we were fine. We didn't eat anything weird at his birthday party. We just had pizza and cake and he started throwing up pretty much like the next day or the day after that. Um, so I have a theory because no one else at his birthday party got sick and we had it in one of those kind of like indoor play areas. So I was like, shoot, I'm like, I hope that like people who are at his party don't start getting sick. But I think what it was is like we sang him happy birthday and he had a cupcake and he was in a high chair. And usually I'm so diligent about wiping those things down. But we were kind of rushing because we were on like a timeline. And I did put one of the sticky placemats down on the high chair, like where the cupcake was. But you know, babies, they just touch everything. And actually my mom's friend used to work at that location and my mom was like, yeah, we're wondering if he picked it up from the high chair. And she said, you know what, that wouldn't even surprise me because she's like, they were really good about cleaning. But she said, I think I was the only one who ever cleaned that high chair. And, you know, stomach virus can last on surfaces for like weeks. So it was crazy. Like looking back on it, I'm almost like I don't even know if it was worth it to have the birthday party, which is so sad to say because like, obviously like it was so fun and it was so amazing to have all our friends and stuff together but me being that sick and Isaac being that sick for so long was so awful and it was so sad so anyways we're feeling so much better now and luckily like I only got like three days of antibiotics in like over the course of like a couple days like spread out but so far I really haven't had any more like congestion issues so I'm guessing like maybe the couple days of antibiotics helped and it was strong enough to where it took care of it and I've been okay crossing my fingers so far like my appetite's back I'm eating normally but I lost so much weight over the last like month and a half which like some people are like that's awesome I'm like no it was not awesome people are like you look so good I'm like I'm so unhealthy like it's not healthy weight loss. It's been because my body has been so run down for so long. And when you have the stomach virus, you're not eating. So like, I'm like getting back to eating and I'm trying to be mindful of what I'm eating and just making sure I'm eating because I just feel like I'm in such like a fragile state. You know what I mean? So anyways, that is my like life update and why I've been MIA on YouTube for so long and for you guys it's not actually even been that long it's been like a couple weeks like almost a month but for me it's felt so long because I haven't filmed since like mid-January but it's interesting because like at the beginning I was like it's kind of nice to have a break but in the last couple weeks I've missed it like so much and it just makes me like realize how much um just enjoyment I get out of doing it even though like I don't have like a ton of followers on YouTube or anything like it's just fun for me to do to have that structure to be getting a video up filming like during the week just doing something creative so I've definitely missed you all and I hope you guys are doing well and you've been way healthier than we are I always remind myself in the grand scheme of things it can always be worse and like we are generally healthy it's just been one of those things where we've literally been hit by one thing after another and it's been really hard on me mentally because I'm the type of person that I thrive off of being productive and like doing things and I've pretty much been like a prisoner in my house for like a month and a half and as a stay-at-home mom it's already hard because it's a naturally isolating job especially in today's world um we're so blessed that we actually have met a ton of new friends in the last year but because we've been sick we haven't been able to really see anyone so in the last couple of days like now that we've finally been well we finally have like I went to a play date the other day with some of my mom friends and their kids and we went to church this morning so it's been so nice to kind of like get back try to start getting back into a groove and that's the other thing that I struggled with 
that I talked about in my vlog that you'll see go live soon <laughs> um, is that I was talking about how like you know at the beginning of the new year you want to like get into a good routine like I had all these goals like I wanted to be working out and waking up before my son so I can start my day but it's like when we got sick all that went out the window because the priority was getting extra sleep and like resting and taking care of him and me and so it's just been mentally hard because I haven't really been able to do any of the things that I set out to do in the new year and now it's like almost March and like two months of the new year have like already gone by so it's just been a hard time so I just wanted to kind of like pop on here to update you guys because I think it would have been felt weird for me to just kind of like go back into my like content and not really explain what's been going on in our life um, because it's just been wild and I'm reminding myself that this is also like it's unfortunate but this is just gonna happen now because we have a young kid and he just you know he touches things he sticks his hands in his mouth you know it's just gonna be the way of life so vitamins are going to be my friend, probiotics are going to be my friend, and I'm going to go grocery shopping this afternoon for all the fruits and vegetables and just try to get back into like our normal diet and make sure we're eating healthy. So with that, that's my update. And um, so upcoming content, just so you guys are aware, um, this video is obviously up and probably next I'll be getting up the day in the life vlog. I will be filming an Aldi haul today. So the grocery content is coming back. I know that like my subscribers, a lot of you, that's what you're here for and that's what you like. So I know it's been a while and it's so funny because anytime I've gone grocery shopping in the last couple weeks, I'm like, dang, like I wish I was filming this, but it just, there was too much going on. Like I couldn't. So grocery content's coming back, so that will be the next video. And then I also have some like other miscellaneous videos from 2023 that I need to get up. So you'll be seeing kind of that, like it's kind of gonna be like a hodgepodge of content for a while. And then we'll get back into our normal schedule of the grocery hauls, cooking content and day in the life content. But I'm gonna have like a Disney vlog mixed in cause I have one more of those to go up from our trip that was almost a year ago. <laughs> And then I have a cooking video that I filmed a lot. It might have even been like close to a year ago too that I need to get up. So you're going to see a bunch of random stuff, but I promise we'll get back into our normal cycle of my regularly normal scheduled content. But I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for your patience and just your support during this crazy time. Um, I'm really hoping that I can get back into like a weekly posting schedule, but I'm not gonna make any promises just because we are still kind of catching up on life after being sick for so long and off the grid. So I think that's it. I'm just really looking forward to catching up with you guys more regularly. And again, I hope you guys are having a good start to your new year. I hope that it's warming up around where you guys live. It's still pretty cold here in Maryland. Um, the sun is out, so that helps, but it's a little colder than I like it to be. So I am definitely, after all the illness and stuff this winter, I am so ready for spring weather. I'm just ready for spring vibes, fresh things like flowers. I need everything to bloom. I just need some sunshine and spring spring stuff in my life because this winter has been so hard but anyways thank you guys again so much can you tell i don't want to like turn off the camera i'm like yay we're filming again <laughs> it's such a good feeling but okay thank you all so much stay tuned and i'll see you all in my next video bye <laughs>